Guess what today is, everybody? Well, not today as you're watching this, but it's Jax's birthday. He turns the big ol' eight. I think that makes you a 49-year-old in human lives. Happy birthday, dear Jaximus. Make a wish and I'll blow it out for you, okay? You got your wish? I wish Dad wouldn't do this. There you go. Hope it comes true. Do you wish for catnip? You wanna try on your birthday hat? I think it fits really good. Let's try. What do you mean, no? Yeah, I like that. Look, we even got sunglasses. So you can be a cool cat. Oh, yeah, man. Whoop, oh, and they coming off. Need dirty. Hang on. There you go. You don't wanna wear it anymore? Okay, you don't have to. How about this? You wanna kill it? Yeah, so I found this uh, heat, this Crave. That's what uh, kind of dry food he eats. I found a couple of these uh, wet ones in here. Same nutritional value and everything, so. He seems to like it. You like that one? Kill it, like you didn't kill it yet, it's still alive. Ooh, he bites, he bites. Have it, can you share? Ooh, he doesn't share. Ooh, he really doesn't share. <laughs> I got it. Let's, let's, I just wanted this one. Well, you weren't using it. Oh, now you want it just because I wanted it. Can I? Oh, okay. Can I have this one then? Is that dangerous? Woo! That was dangerous. Did you find the catnip? Risky little kitty kitty. Can I miss? <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, you're killing it there. You're really getting it, Jax. So let's see, if Jax is eight years old, then that means all but the first eight weeks of that eight years, him and I have spent on the road full-timing. Yeah. Now, let's have a chat, guys, because um, I tricked you a little bit. I did. I, uh, I pulled a fast one on you and uh, I wanted to get you caught up a little bit because uh, I think if you watched my last video from Salt Lake City before this one, and if that may have aired two or three days ago, yeah, because I'm going to post this tomorrow on the 23rd. So actually, <laughs> um, 11 days are, are, are missing from the timeline that, that you guys are watching here. Maybe my beard looks a little longer, thicker. Um, that's right. So I'm gonna run it by you and let you know what's going on. Uh, it's a happy ending, and that was my intention from the start. So no need to criticize or really say anything until you've heard everything I have to say right now, because like I said, uh, I've already resolved everything again. And so when I left Salt Lake City uh, more than 12 days ago, I guess it was, uh, I only got about 20 miles before the RV started hesitating and slipping and stalling uh, going up the mountain. And I didn't know what was going on, but I knew for sure that it would be a terrible idea to continue east towards the middle of Wyoming where there's no services. So I flipped a Yui and limped back to Salt Lake City. And I, I said to myself, while talking with uh, my mom and uh, several friends, uh, my, my, my mechanic friends, Andrew, and of course, Jax Austin hooking me up with Badge, who helped me over the phone diagnose things at night. And then uh, Jason from Camping with the Kellys uh, and Wayne, of course. Um, and basically I put together in my mind, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle through this. Okay, I have grown a lot on YouTube. I am going to suck it up. We're gonna fix the RV. And then I'm gonna come right back and tell the world, guys, we got it fixed, no biggie. Now, obviously, I'm happy here telling you that everything's okay, but you should know that it ended up taking four shops and 11 days broke down. Well, I mean, I could limp around town, but, um, and it was ups and downs because of those 11 days, eight of them, Jax and I spent 
in a lobby from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just twiddling our thumbs. Through all the ups and downs, there's a bunch of new parts on the RV that I'm really, really happy about. First, the best, greatest news of all, Les Schwab. Uh-huh, I went back to Les Schwab with my warranty information to the Murray, Utah Center there, and they hit it out of the ballpark. They flat out tackled it, took off the, the rear wheels, opened up the drums, to remove the uh, axles, and uh, put two new drums on and resurfaced them right out of the box like I asked. And I have now driven over 100 miles. It has been a long time. I thought that uh, Les Schwab and I would never rekindle our, our love affair going back more than a decade. And uh, they are back off of the naughty list. As well as there were four major components to why my RV wouldn't run but a lot of stuff got fixed and repaired. Right now, we have two new catalytic converters, four new O2 sensors, upstream and downstream of both of those, plus the one up front is only five months old and it's fine. I have a new fuel pump in the RV once again, and yes, it does still allow my generator to feed from it because we made sure we got the right one. I have eight new spark plugs because I had two misfiring cylinders they're just bad plugs from Fallon, Nevada. I'm sorry, but that shop just gave me crummy parts. And uh, the mass airflow was acting up as well, also shooting low and high voltage codes. And when they pulled that off at one of the shops, they saw that the whole wiring harness was, uh, had been cut through because it had laid on one of the belts and it cut through, shorted at least one wire. And so that's why I've gone through four of those um, mass airflow units is because they're all getting shortened out and failing. So we replaced that with a brand new OEM wiring harness from Chevy, which took two days to get, and then put a new mass airflow on that. And is that all? No, we got a new, cause we, I had to go through all the parts that I've put on in the last five months. So we're looking at all this stuff and throughout the process, somewhere in the middle, it was easier to point out the stuff that hadn't been replaced. The EGR valve and my MAP sensor had not been replaced since I've owned this RV. So I'm like, yep, yeah, go ahead and do that too. See if that helps. So in the end, it's almost hard to pinpoint exactly which one of those four major problems. The fuel PSI was under 54. Like it would drop below 54 PSI when you accelerate. Um, on a test, that's not good. It should stay definitely above like 58 to 60 range is what they were the Chevy specs say for my RV. And the misfires and the, the clogged cats, I mean, definitely, you, you betcha, that's a, that's a major problem. So, I mean, just knock it out, right? That's all I could do is just sit back and say, let's get this RV fixed. It's the only RV I got right now. It's my only option. There were ups and downs throughout that 11 days. I so, so badly wanted to make videos throughout that time and I held off because I'm so used to YouTube and the way people just have an opinion about everything that uh, I like to just uh, make things better, best I know how, with all the help of my friends, of course, and the mechanics and everybody, but still be able to sit back now and say, well, it's done, don't matter, it's all done back on the road. <laughs> but certainly, I have had a crazy 11 days of emotions, okay? You just haven't seen that. So I just, I skipped that portion. But I want you to know that it was there. And uh, it's been great having a home, a safe place to live at night with Jax and I, and to have food on the table and all that. And it's just been interesting with the repairs. But look, now I get to sit here and say, this RV has never ran better. I mean, I've never had brakes this good and the, it's never ran this good. No check engine light for over a hundred miles. Whoa, spoiled. So what I need to do is kind of just regroup now, okay? So you guys need to give me a little bit of time here. Um, before I leave Salt Lake City, I want to maybe do a couple loops around nearby just in case something pops up for a couple days. But uh, either way, I will shoot out a video in two days and give you guys an update of what's going on here. 
But uh, I appreciate every one of you. I love you all. Thanks so much for following, guys. Thank you so much for your support and kind words and prayers and everything. And um, Jackson and I will be back with an update in a couple days. And we will be back to Lincoln Highway soon. Okay. Bye, guys.